My pee pee is so hard from looking at you. Gonna have to with the salmon now. Enjoy my last bits. Thank you for the last bits. I appreciate that. I think I can go die really quick. Wait, he has a gun. He left. Wait, no. I love this game. Purple armor, huh? Sick. It's fun. Really fun. Are you sure these guys aren't subs? Who the f would give me that if they weren't subscribers? I haven't felt the hit rate being better so far. Maybe I will soon. The game is definitely better at launch than it is now, for sure. Performance space, frame rates, server lag, hit reg. 100% it used to be better than it currently is. Which is disappointing. What can you do? I'm having more fun eating this steak and playing the game. Like, I don't know what they can do to bring the game back after all this hate. They've had so many chances of just like impl like implementing hotfixes or game modes or just like fun shit. And they just haven't done anything. And now there's a hotfix for the first time in a million years and they don't adjust any of the big issues. They say they do, but like Hitrick doesn't feel better. Pathfinder hitbox hasn't even been touched. No matchmaking, no longbow nerfs, no diminishing returns on art stars. Again. I was testing the new patch, but there's nothing new about it. It's like same, same. So I'm gonna go keep, keep, keeping on with my break. I've been playing Wild Classic Beta. No, none of the respawn developers are working on Star Wars. It's the same team, it's the same developers, nothing's changed, I guess just a lot of them are on vacation or something. No, they fixed some parts of the sound, but they fucked up others. They fucked it up more than it was before. You still can't hear footsteps, but now also, if someone's downed and they're moving, they make the same sound as someone running sometimes, and like, actually very often from my experience. And it's very loud, so it's really hard to like, realize if someone's pushing you or if it's just someone downed crawling around. Can't really tell the difference. Some gunshots don't uh, make sound when shooting anymore, like randomly. I'm not a naysayer. I'm just telling you guys how it is. I don't know, just because there's an update, I love this game, but just because there's an update doesn't mean it has to be good. Just because I'm saying it's not good doesn't mean that I say everything is is bad. It's just that so far, everything, which is very, very little, but everything Respawn has implemented into the game after launch has actually been like somehow a downgrade to the actual quality of the game compared to the initial quality of the game. That's not me being a naysayer. That's me being honest and, and stating facts about popular opinions and my own opinions. The game is the same as launch. You are stupid. You have absolutely no idea what you are talking about. You are incorrect in so many different ways. You're making false statements. You are lying to my chat. And I love my subscribers oh so very much that I don't want to expose them to lies. So you apologize right now.
What the fuck? Oh my god, dude. I was stuck in infinite climbing until he moved. Oh, Alright, oh, sorry, my boys got me, I think. I couldn't hear those footsteps, by the way. Uh, just in case you were wondering. I heard the footsteps from the octane crawling around, though. That was pretty loud. I don't know if you guys heard that, too. Couldn't hear the music? Yeah, music turned off. Music covered up the footsteps of people who are not down. No, the game's audio is broken. Yeah, audio's gotten worse because they like, I feel like they normalize all the volumes, so it's really hard to tell what's going on. And then the occlusion seems to be have, have been adjusted for some reason. Oh my f***ing god, shut the f*** up chat. Yeah, I think a lot of the sound changes were probably targeted at console, and us like, PC players just kind of got the update and it made it worse. Oh yeah, the core of the game is f***ing amazing. Movement, gunplay, well, almost all movements. Strafing in this game is absolutely fucking so stupid. Look, look, running straight. Okay. And now I'm gonna run straight and tap A, double, A and D. They're just very, 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 very quick taps. Do you see this? This means that you're actually better off turning, doing, playing fucking like a racing game. You don't use A or dot for W when moving and stuff like that. You can't strafe, ever, because it's a deceleration instead of acceleration. You don't even need acceleration on strafing. You can just have not deceleration. The problem is like, this is supposed to be a well-tested update and they broke the audio when someone's downed because if someone's downed, it sounds like they're running around and shit. It's pretty crazy. But the thing is, by this mistake that they made, they're promoting people to thirst. So a glitch or a mistake in their fix promotes anti-fun gameplay. Pathfinder is not good without his hitbox now. He would not be played. Except for maybe in scrims to like camp high ground and stuff. But for kill races or aggro gameplay, you wouldn't play Pathfinder. He's only being played because of his broken hitbox. He wouldn't really be used if his hitbox wasn't like insanely broken. The grapple is fun. Yeah, absolutely. Gibraltar is this fun too. It doesn't mean he's good. Doesn't like that makes sense. You still don't fully understand his grapple mechanic. I mean, you can disagree. Uh, you're allowed to have your own opinion, even if it's strong. His hitbox is just simply too big when it's not broken to actually be able to use him. It's not worth using it because his hitbox is too big. No matter how you grapple, once you grapple, you have 15 seconds of being a useless character with a really big hitbox. You only play him because of his big hitbox. His passive sucks. His ult, very situational, but not really that good. Fighting in the air is what makes him strong. I can't tell if he's trolling, but weapons are active mid-air, by the way. And it makes your movement very predictable. I mean, yeah, any character is good versus absolute boss. When we're talking about character viability, it's not about... If someone who doesn't know what button, like, to shoot with, shoots at you. We're talking about if someone who is an absolutely brain dead. I, I think, I really, I think you should... Stop talking. You, you're sounding very stupid. You're you're literally saying that without this character's hitbox being broken, it would be still be better than Lifeline and Octane and Wraith and Bangalore because of mid-air combat. That's what you're saying. Pathfinder wouldn't be played. Maybe in like hide-and-seek scrims with no real like reward on or in kill incentive for the rule sets. Yeah. Level one shield in life. Mr. Poopy Nuthole. There is no better character than Pathfinder to punish a team if they make a mistake. Right, because of his hitbox. I mean, unless you're playing against, like, really bad teams, any character can punish a mistake, period. It doesn't matter. The only reason Pathfinder is being played is because of his absolutely horrendous hitbox. That's it. Ability is a bonus, absolutely. The hitbox is really, really, really bad. And you should not assume any viability off this character other than kill rate tournaments and, like, new accounts. Just because it's fast to find teams in between these fights. 
No, Apex is still a dead game and it still f***ing sucks even after the patch. I'm still f***ing addicted to it and I'm forcing myself to take a break and I'm gonna do shorter Apex streams. But of course I'll still play it. Shut the f*** up, dude. Don't you just hate it when your cat wakes you up like this? Meow. 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 You don't want 1v1s with Pathfinder in kill races. You want 1v3s. You want to split. You want to be the person that stacks with armor to split from your team to 1v3 or 1v2. Because you have the highest mobility and the only upside to playing this character other than hitbox is the fact that after a fight is done, you can use all your moment or all your mobility abilities to find a new team faster and be able to third party faster. You don't use him to force 1v1s unless you're really scared and not very good. Kill races are about getting as many kills as possible and you use your abilities to try to manipulate res farming if that's allowed in the rule set. That's why he's strong. The best character for forcing 1v1s is still Bangalore. Pathfinder inherently doesn't have any real advantage other than just the, the downtime in between fights is lower for Pathfinder. That's the only advantage he has other than his his uh, hitbox. If his hitbox wasn't broken, he wouldn't be played except for like hide and seek, no kill incentive scrims and shit like that because you can get the high ground and camp him very easily. That's it. Gatesler, suck my fucking dick, moron. Permabend, eat my ass, pussy. You'll be on band if you subscribe or donate, actually. Bang is probably the best overall legend. I would say so. Uh, some of the animations you can warp with her hitbox. If you're really good at Bangalore and properly using her, her passive because of how you can proc it and play around the internal cooldown. She's probably one of the best characters, especially like in scrims or kill races or whatever. She's definitely one of the best. Lifeline has like a little bit of an advantage just on hitbox alone and like the utility you get because you can gear up faster with lifeline because of if you just find old charges, but typically you won't have time to use them anyway in kill races. Bangalore is like a go-to, Octane 2, Wraith 2, and Lifeline. Those are like the top four by far if hat, it, it hit her, the Pathfinder hitbox wasn't broken. Bloodhound's not good. His ability, his active ability is bad to use in combat because the fucking like silhouettes or whatever overlap. On enemies, you can't really see enemies clearly. His passive is the only value he has, and his ultimate is bad because it lowers your FPS, changes your field of view. You cannot, like, not change your field of view. And it's just not that good to begin with. I don't know, I don't think, I don't feel it right better. Like, I caught a couple right there even, I, before he was down. Okay, okay. How many shots is this guy gonna miss? Both of them. When it comes to being in a 1v2 situation, I feel that if you crack someone's armor, you can easily punish that person and turn a 1v3 into a 1v2 by forcing a 1v1 on their low player. Of course you can, you can do it with any character. Like, the argument you're making is wrong, because the strongest thing you can do with a Pathfinder is not using your grapple aggressively into teams, it's using them defensively to make sure you can stall out fights to chip people down. Like, you would be using his ability wrong in actual kill race tournaments versus good other good teams, because every kill matters and, like, you're playing too high risk if you're using that anyway. me i wouldn't use ditch Ditch is a harsh word to use i mean he's playing with his teammates like nrg signed a player he's playing with that guy instead of me i he didn't like ditch me 